There's a brand new large language model that is free to use, it's open source, and it beats GPT-40 and Claude Sonnet right now. And in this video, I wanted to show you how to actually install it and run it locally on your computer. And the biggest benefit with this model is it tries to solve a big problem with large language models, which is hallucination. They make up an answer and they confidently give you that reply. And sometimes it's really hard to figure out if the reply is accurate, right? So this tries to do something which is reflection. It tries to reflect on its own answer before giving you the final answer, which is really interesting. So I wanted to show you how to use it and run it locally on your computer for free. Now, let me show you this benchmark. We're gonna install Reflection 70B. This is the model available. They're doing another model called 400B, which is a much bigger file. And it's not gonna be something we could run locally on our computer, but I'll show you a website where you could test it out once it rolls out. And compared to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is the best model right now, and GPT-40, and even Gemini 1.5 Pro, it's winning on just about every category. Claude Sonnet is the only one that comes close in a couple of different categories, but very, very close. At the end of the video, we're gonna run it on a chatbot that looks just like this. We're gonna pick our reflection model from the dropdown. I'm gonna show you how to install that. This is localhost 3000, meaning we're not on any website. I installed it on a computer. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to do it, five steps that I made as non-technical as possible. You don't need to be a developer to do this. And then it works just like any other chatbot. So you just type in a prompt down here, send out the message and reflection gives you an answer in a very unique way where other chatbots are just not capable of doing. They do have a website where you could use it. I'll put this in the description below this video, but every time I've tried to use it right now, the traffic is too high and it is not working on this chatbot. So we're just gonna install it and use it right on our computer. Okay, to install this locally on our computer, there's gonna be multiple steps, but I'm gonna make it very non-technical so anybody could follow along. First step is you need to go to olama.com and you need to download Olama to your local computer. Olama lets you run different large language models that are open source. So you could run Llama, for example, Phi, Mistral. Okay, so all you have to do is press download right over here and you could run it for your device. If you're running it on a Mac right here, make sure you have Mac OS 11, Big Sur. If you're on Windows, it has to be Windows 10 or later. Okay, I just downloaded it. I just need to move it to my application folder here. And typically you'll see a pop-up like this. If you don't see a pop-up, sometimes on a Mac especially, it appears right on top over here too, and you could quit and then try to download it again. But all this does is it tells you to install something in your computer. So if you press install, and type in your passcode for your computer, it just gives you this code. So if you don't see this, that's okay. You still need this code right here. So pause it. It's just three words. It says Olama space run space Llama 3.1. So I just have to copy this from here and then I could go ahead and press finish right here. And that brings us to step number two. For that, we need to go and search for an app called Terminal on our computer. This is what the Terminal app looks like. And all you have to do is paste that or type that right here. Olama space run space Llama 3.1. This is gonna install the large language model Llama first, and then we're gonna install reflection right after that. So I'm gonna press enter. I already have that installed here, so it may take a few minutes on your computer to install it. So let this finish. So you could do that first. I'm just gonna terminate this. So step one was the Olama download on this website. Step two was adding it to the terminal. Step three, is back on the Olama website. If you go to the models tab right here, this is gonna show you all the different models you can install. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for reflection, which just got added. It looks like this, I'm gonna click on it. And every model is installed the same way. It says Olama, space run, space reflection. So I'm gonna copy that. I did close terminal, so I'll open it again here. And with a fresh terminal, I'm just gonna paste that right here. And before I press enter, let me just go back over here. Right now, the 70B model is what we have. They may introduce, or they are introducing a model called 400B. That is gonna be a massive, massive file. We're not gonna be able to run that on pretty much any computer. Now, they may also introduce a smaller model, so you may wanna start there. It totally depends on your computer. So you can install it, the 70B model, but if it's slow, you may wanna look for a reflection model on the smaller size. Right now, this is the only one, so that's what I'm gonna install. Okay, back to the terminal, I'll press enter here. Okay, now this is gonna take a while, you see, 39 gigabytes. So I'm gonna let this finish up. It's gonna take about 13 minutes here to install it. 
Now, while we're installing that, I'm gonna take you to step four, and there's just one more step after that. We need to install a program called Docker on our Mac or PC. You could get it at docker.com, and everything step-by-step -step is gonna be in the description below this video. But with Docker, we just have to install it. Just make sure if you have a Mac, if you have a version that's an Intel chip, download that one. If you have an Apple Silicon, that's M1, M2, M3, those type of chips. Make sure that is selected here. It usually finds out what computer you're on and gives you the right option over here. But make sure you pick the right one from this dropdown and download it and install it. Okay, once you install Docker and open it, this is what Docker looks like, but you don't actually have to touch anything. This should be empty. It says your container will show up over here. Right now it should show nothing. And I just need to open Docker. I don't have to do anything in this entire process with Docker. I'm actually gonna minimize the application. So install Docker, open it or find it in the search option. Go ahead and open it after the install and minimize it. Now let me check on the download here. We're at 23%. So let's go to step number five, which is gonna be the last step here for us. We need an application called Open Web UI. Again, openwebui.com is the website. And I'm gonna say get Open Web UI. This allows us to have a chatbot that looks like ChatGPT on our computer, but it's gonna run open source models like Llama and the new one, Reflection. Now this takes us to GitHub, which Again, it's gonna look very technical if you're not a technical developer, but if you go down here, all the way down here, it says how to install. So all we really need to worry about over here is this line right here. If Olama is on your computer, use this command, and we just need to copy this command, and that's gonna go back inside of the terminal app. And that's the only step really on this page. So scroll down all the way to this section, look for something that says this, and go ahead and copy this over. And then if you go to the terminal app here, we're gonna go ahead and paste that. At this point, I do have to wait for this install of reflection to finish before I could give terminal a new command. So let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be done with this installation process once we type in this code. Okay, it's finally finished here installing reflection and you should see something that says send a message. So I usually just check here, make sure it's working. So I just say hello. Again, this is gonna show you how reflection works. In brackets, it says thinking, and then it kind of shows you how it thinks in the background, but it does it out loud, and it gives you a reflection. So this is gonna be a totally different experience than using different chatbots that you may have been using already or different large language models. But right now, we're not gonna use it inside of Terminal. It's already installed. I'm gonna go ahead and close Terminal and reopen it one more time, because remember, we have to install this line right here and I'll copy this over and I'm gonna press enter and it's been installed. Okay, so that was our last step. This is gonna give us open web UI. Now, to use all of that, we're going to go back to our Docker app, which we've minimized. So I'll look for it down here and let's open it. And now you'll see what's called a container inside of Docker and it has a port number. So I could click on this port number to open up a new window. I did not do anything in Docker. This happens through what I just installed in Terminal. That brings us to this page, which is, it's gonna say localhost 3000, meaning this is not any website. This is just running locally on our computer and it's just opening up a web tab over here so I could use it, but I could turn off my Wi-Fi. It's gonna be a completely private local experience here. And I just have to go ahead and sign up over here if you don't have an account with Open Web UI. Okay, now we have Open Web UI on our computer. If you look at mine right here, if you click this right here, this is gonna show you all the models. If you just followed this video, I never used this before, you'll just see Llama and you'll see Reflection, two different models. Mine has ton of different models, even GPT-4.0 models because I've connected it, but that's a whole different video that I've made already about how to do these type of things. Right now, I'm just gonna look for Reflection. We've already installed it. Here it is, the 70B model. And this is now the model that is gonna be used as we chat with it. So let me just show you kind of how this works. If I say explain options trading, this is just one of the prompt examples they have. This is gonna be the prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and send it out. Okay, now this is gonna work completely differently than any other large language model you've seen. And the biggest problem I have with using large language models is the hallucination, especially if you're doing any data analytics if you're doing any research where the answer has to be correct, a lot of times you're not really sure if it's making things up. This tries to correct that, which is something the other models don't do. 
So it shows you its thinking process. And then after it thinks, it gives you an answer. And then if you look down here, it reflects on its own answer. This chatbot, by the way, these are supposed to be brackets, but it kind of puts them in these things instead of a bracket. But this is a bracket typically if you use it in different chatbots. But then it goes and reflects on its own answer. And then when it reflects on its own answer, it gives you the final answer down here, which is right here. Offshore trading is similar to buying and selling stock in some way, but it defers. So here's the actual answer you need. So you could just skip to the bottom and not read through the thinking or the reflection, but that is something it types out for you if you wanted to look at it. Now down here, this is just like any other chatbot now, but you could have a follow-up chat. You could ask it to give me a short answer. Another thing I really like about using this specific web UI, and I've made a ton of videos about it, is you could actually add other models and compare the answers of multiple models at the same time. So if I wanted to have these two models going at the same time, I could ask for a one sentence answer here, and then it's gonna give me the output from two different models. I could even press the plus sign and get three different models to respond to me at the same time, which is really cool, especially since I have ChatGPT even connected to this as well. The GPT models could give me a response and then I could kind of see them side by side. And Open Web UI also lets you upload different files to it. So you could use different models like Reflection or some of the other Llama models here to analyze documents that you upload to it privately and locally on your computer. Now, if the answers are coming very slowly, that's just a hardware problem. So your computer might not be efficient enough to be able to handle this running locally. Because typically when we use chatbots, they're on some kind of a cloud a server, right? So if I'm using the Reflection Playground, this website I showed you, it doesn't really matter uh, how fast our computer is because we're on a website. The local version, again, is gonna take our GPU, our CPU, those type of things to run locally. And if it's running slow, it just means you might not be able to run that version of Reflection. You might have to wait for a lesser model. Llama has a really good model called 8B, Llama 3.18B right now that you can install that runs pretty well on most computers. But go ahead and check that out. And then you could always try this website too if it's not working, the reflection models could be used here. Let me try it right over here. Yeah, right now I can't use it for the first couple of days that it's been out. And the last resource I wanted to show you is we have an entire course for private AI chatbots on your computer. This is 12 different videos. It's a little over 90 minutes of content here that walks you through all the different things you could do inside of web UI, installing different models and things like that. So if you wanna go that route and use models like Reflection locally, this just dives a lot deeper. You could watch this through a free trial as well to see if it's a good fit. And this platform gives you access to all our courses and all our new courses too. So right now we have a little over 20 different courses, entire, probably close to 100 different PDFs you get with your subscriptions on different things you could do with AI. And there's an entire community here where you could get direct access to me and ask me any questions and I answer every single question here. And again, this is available with a free trial. If it's a good fit after you watch a course, you could just subscribe monthly and you get access to everything that rolls out in AI. And let me know what you think of reflection. Just the fact that it thinks out loud and then reflects on its own answer and then it gives you an answer to try to combat hallucination, I think it's a huge upgrade. And as you saw in some of those early testing, it's beating out just about every model available right now. And it's an open source free model. So I'm really excited to test it out in more detail. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.